Hi everyone, my name is Fatima and today I'll be talking about measuring character strokes. The main objectives of this task were to measure stroke length, stroke time, and stroke count for different characters from various different alphabets. To accomplish this, we used the Omnibot dataset to really help us understand the stroke data. So what is Omniglot? Omniglot is an online encyclopedia focused on languages and writing systems. We use the Omniglot dataset for one-shot learning. It contains 1,623 handwritten characters from 50 different alphabets. In this dataset, each image is paired with stroke data. The stroke data is in the format of XY coordinates as well as time coordinates, which we use to get stroke time. So to understand stroke, we need to go into the structure of the character. A character can be broken down into different strokes, each with a varying length and shape. So as you can see on the right is a character from Gujarati. Each stroke is indicated by a different color. And to dive into stroke length, the shape within an image really matters. We developed code that helps us visualize these character images and identify their contours. Contours are essentially the outlines of objects within an image. So as you can see on the left, we're comparing the letter H with the letter I on the right. H has a stroke length of 755 pixels, whereas I has a stroke length of 455 pixels. Usually these letters are written pretty similarly, but as you can see, they have differing stroke lengths, which could have an implication on how complex. So we could say that H in this case is more complex than I. However, this could differ depending on the font used. We visualize the distribution of stroke length as well as stroke count. On the left, you can see that we have a wide distribution of stroke lengths with different frequencies and as well as different stroke counts on the right. In combination with other functions, such as pixel count and symmetry, we can use all of these metrics to develop a measure of complexity, which could be applied to alphabets and hopefully to molecules. Thank you.